Well, good morning, class of 2024, parents and faculty. We are so excited to be joining you this morning. This is a historic moment. We have never had eighth grade graduation online, and yet here we are. So enjoy this moment. Um, this isn't how we planned it to end, and this isn't how you planned it, but here we are, resilient and coming to the finish strong. Before we get started, I wanted to say a word about honor. Today, we're going to be honoring many of you for the work that you've done, but not everyone is going to win a special award. Um, Mark Twain said that the thing about honor is that it's better to be deserving of honor and not receive it than to receive honor and not deserve it. Well, I can tell you that all of you have worked hard. All of you should take pride in, in reaching this moment and this milestone in your life. And whether your name is called for a major award or not, take pride that you have done great work and we are so thankful to have been played a part in it. Um, and now I'll ask Reverend Bear to start our time in a word of prayer. Yes, let us pray. God of endings and new beginnings, we are finishing a year of school and we are thankful. We have studied and played, we have loved and grown, and we are ready for a long and joy-filled rest. Bless this school year now ending, bless our teachers, students, faculty, and everyone in our Cassidy community. May our bodies stay well, our hearts and minds open, and may all of our education help to serve this world that you love so dearly. Amen. So Reverend Bear, thank you uh, for that opening prayer and welcome class of 2024, is it 2024? Wow. Parents and faculty, I'm excited to have you have had the opportunity to wish you well and to culminate this four year story in the middle division. Some of you have been in the division for all four years and some of you have come and joined the community somewhere along the way. But regardless of when you entered, you as a class have much to be proud of. One of your major accomplishments is that you are the first and possibly the only class, as Jason, Mr. Dr. Shear said, you're the only class that will have done their final middle division year in remote learning. You have had ample opportunity to grumble and to complain about how unfair this has been, but you haven't. Instead, by your actions and your reactions to this pandemic, you have shown the lower grades that you truly can turn disappointments into positive experiences. And for that, I wanna say thank you. You now head up to the upper division where the teachers there are super excited to welcome you into their division this fall. They are about to get a wonderfully caring and resilient group of students, students who will be willing to take risks and to try new things. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, you gain strength, you gain courage and confidence by every experience in which you really stop and look fear in the face. You must do the thing that you think you cannot do. I truly believe that you all resemble that. You have shown that you are not afraid to face your fears and are ready to take on new risks as you move into the welcoming upper division. Whether it be to go out for a new sport, try out for a play, or perform in the choir, take an art class, sign in for one of the many clubs that we have to offer, like debate, science Olympiad, or the psychology club. These next four years are gonna go by so quickly. So do all you can, have fun, and continue to love learning for the sake of learning. Congratulations to you, the class of 2024. And now I wanna hand it over to Ms. Zedlitz. Hello everyone. The middle division, as we all know, is a lively and busy place. And each year we take an opportunity in these closing year, these close of year celebrations um, to honor those of you who have participated in um, some special recognition, some extracurricular activities in the building. Uh, our first, Mr. Sappington, will talk to us about Science Olympiad. Science Olympiad competitions are like academic track meets, consisting of a series of 23 events reflecting a wide array of science, technology, engineering, and math. Selection for the state team is based on a student's ability to work with team members, knowledge of events, attendance at work sessions and tournaments, as well as commitment to the team. The coaches, Ms. Simmet, Mr. Statz, Mr. Huber, and myself would like to thank all of the students who participated in Science Olympiad for another fantastic year and recognize the team chosen to represent Cassidy at the state tournament. Members of the state team are 
Peter Fitzsimons, Michelle Huang, Julia Yonknek, Alex Mignette, Peter Vogelai, Maddox Blake, Puri Gulati, Audrey Haynes, Eddie Kang, Krish Modi, Noni Redding, Thomas Rudnicki, Sophia Stidham, Isabel Zedlitz, and Ion Zubair. The alternates this year were Adi Bakhtaram, Bailey Jordan, Hutton Rhodes, Tyler Simmet, and Milan Kumar. Congratulations and thank you. Now for Mr. Brian. Salete. Taking Latin in seventh and eighth grade is one of Caskey's long held traditions. Each year, Latin students at Caskey participate in the National Latin Exam. This exam is usually taken by over 140,000 students in 25 countries. This year, 158 Cassie students took the National Latin Exam and 99 earned awards. The eighth grade awards are as follows. On the introduction to Latin exam, Cameron Dunn, Peyton Mitchell Johnson, Chris Modi, and Nishant Trivastava all earned outstanding achievement certificates. On the Latin one exam, Mila Barisal, Reed Colbert, Sydney Hewlin, Milan Kumar, Maddie Liu, Amelia Mantia Ochoa, Megan Reeves, Chris Basson, and Thatcher Wallace earned the cum laude certificate. Brayden Gerard, Audrey Haynes, Nathan Hollander, Olivia Lane, Carmen McQuistian, Noni Reading, India Rosenberg, Sarah Warren, and Al Woodruff earned the magna cum laude certificate. Jackie Budd, Hurry Galati, Lawson Jacks, Lily Jordanov, Sheridan Piercy, Thomas Rudnicki, Sophia Stidham, Ethan Tubb, Jake Woody, and Isabel Zedlitz earned a silver medal and the magna cum laude certificate, and Eddie Kang earned a gold medal and the summa cum laude certificate. Congratulations to our Cassie Latin students. And up next, we've got Rob Huber with Math Counts. Math Counts is a competition series where sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students compete in teams of four against other teams from other schools in various rounds of math problems. There are several levels of competition, including regional, state, and nationals. This year, not only did the Cassidy team place second at regionals, but also third overall at state. Only our four person team consisted of two eighth graders, Krish Modi and Eddie Kang, a seventh grader, James Sun, and a sixth grader, Raymond Yang. Krish Modi placed fourth overall as an individual at state. Congratulations to the team and everyone who partic participated in Math Counts this year. Now I'd like to turn the mic over to Miss Stone. Every year, the Cassidy Middle Division participates in the Scripps Spelling Bee. Two winners from each grade level compete in the Middle Division Spelling Bee, and this year, our two eighth grade finalists were Ion Zubair and Isabel Zedlitz. Ion went on to win both the Cassidy Spelling Bee and the Regional Spelling Bee and competed in the state championship. We are so proud of your spelling skills. Um, thank you very much, and Mr. Stats, it's all yours. Greetings. Every year, Cassidy Middle Division participates in the National Geographic Bee. This year was no exception, and here are the following grade level champions. In fifth grade, Muhammad Hussein and Elizabeth James. In sixth grade, Danzel Chin and Raymond Zhang. In seventh grade, Hellman Brown and Bolin McKellar. In eighth grade, Krish Modi and Jake Woody. Our two finalists this year were Denzel Chin and Jake Woody, and Jake was our overall school champion. However, due to COVID-19, he was not able to compete in the Oklahoma State competition. So, in making an executive decision, I'm crowning him our state champion for this year. So congratulations, Jake. Thank you. And now on to people who play instruments really, really, really well. Several students in the Cassidy Band program went above and beyond this year. I'm so proud of their hard work and determination. Unfortunately, our performance in contest season was cut short, but I would still like to congratulate all of the students for their accomplishments, including the following. Nishant Srivastava, made the Central Oklahoma Directors Association Honor Band. And then we have three eighth graders attend the OSSAA Solo District Contest and also receive a superior rating. Caroline Garner, Ethan Nedio, and Nishant Srivastava. Thank you, and now on to Mrs. Heiderbright with the orchestra recognitions. Thank you, Mrs. Hale. Hello, everyone. We'll recognize the eighth graders who made an honor orchestra. The North Central Honors Orchestra, which over 100 violinists from across the Metro auditioned, Eddie King got concertmaster, the first chair of the eighth and ninth grade orchestra. Oklahoma Chamber Honor Orchestra members, Maddox Blake, Abby Devaconda, Perry Gulati, Lily Jordanoff, Eddie King, Noni Redding, 
Ethan, Ethan Tubb, Isabel Zedlitz. Unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, OCHA was canceled for this spring. We hope to make it up next fall. Now, for the OSSA State Orchestra Contest at Santa Fe High School, where uh, the seven eighth graders received a superior rating in performance, superior rating in sight reading, and outstanding achievement award. Maddox Blake, Reed Colbert, Abby Devaconda, Hurry Gulati, Warner Hayhurst, Audrey Haynes, Lily Jordanoff, Eddie Kang, Melon Kumar, Noni Redding, Ethan Tubb, Isabel Zedlitz, Ian Zubair. And now Ms. Lomelia will announce the service awards. Hello, National St Presidential Service Awards recognize those with a heart for giving back to our community. I want to acknowledge Sydney Eulen, recipient of the gold medal for 140 hours of service this year, and Abby Devaconda, who will receive the silver award for 75 hours of service. And now we will talk to Mr. Stats and Mr. Hermanson. Hello. We had an outstanding year with our prefects this year. Our prefects this year for House Tabor were Mila Buracell and Puri Galati. For House Woolsey, they were Sarah Warren and Eddie Kang. For House Kelly, Molly Cote and Sydney Hewen. For House Martin, Audrey Haynes and Jackson Childress. Thank you all for your hard work and dedication to making the Cassidy community more connected and unified. I'm really proud of all your efforts, efforts, and we'll miss working with you next year. Our head waiters for this year were Noni Redding, is Zedlitz, Caroline Garner, L. Woodruff, Megan Reeves, Amelia Mantia Ochoa, Maddox Blake, Jake Woody, and Warner Hayhurst. Thank you for your work ethic, your enthusiasm, and your leadership. I have enjoyed having you all at my table this year, and I will miss you all. Now back to you, Dr. Shear. Each year during eighth grade graduation, we take a moment to pause and say thank you to faculty who are either retiring or moving on. And this year, we say goodbye to three phenomenal teachers. Um, we say goodbye to Mr. Rob Huber, Ms. Jean Marie Nielsen, and Mr. Eric Shaveri. Mr. Huber has served our community faithfully as math department chair, science Olympiad coach, eighth grade team leader, and eighth grade math teacher. Mr. Huber is a man of many talents and interests, and that is why he's taken a post next year in the upper division as the leader of the computer science department. We will miss him dearly in the middle division, but you as eighth graders are going to get an opportunity to continue to work with him next year, and I know that you'll be excited to do so. We wish him well in the high school. And now eighth grader Puri Gulati will speak on the impact of our beloved Hefe, followed by Father Human's appreciation of Mrs. Nielsen. Hola, Jefe. I hate saying goodbye to you, whether it's virtually or in person. Today, whatever I say is on behalf of our 8th grade class. To be honest, Jefe, I have no idea where to begin. Whether it was in 5th grade when you started telling us stories about how you threw a kid out of your window into the lake because he wasn't doing what you said, or if it was when you ended 8th grade by asking us, is Jefe good or what? In these past four years, the love and affection you have shown each student, whether they took Spanish or not, has just made each day better and better, and has proved to us that we don't need to be in a teacher's class to have them by our side. I can go on for years about the amazing teacher you have been and the amazing memories you have made with every one of us. On behalf of the eighth grade class, I want to wish you all the best on this new journey of yours, and I want to let you know that we will truly miss you. Have fun, Jefe, and thank you again for every single thing you have done. Please, please, please come back to visit us be at Cassidy because Middle Division will never be the same without you. Good luck, Jefe. Jean Marie, it's one thing to teach high school students who at that point have pretty much decided that uh, this, this thing, whether it's the violin or the wind instruments or acting or music, that they are into it, right, it is a whole nother thing entirely to be a choral instructor for junior high kids where part of what you do, a big part of what you have done is you get to be the one who invites them in to show them the beauty and the wonder and the mystery of that part of the arts of singing. There's, singing is such a vulnerable and extravagant thing and to do that with junior high kids uh, really takes a lot. We're so grateful for the way that you've, you've given that gift uh, in your time at Cassidy School, at Cassidy School and we're gonna miss you. And, hope we, and, and we hope we get to see you uh, in the coming years. So God bless you. Eighth grade awards are presented to eighth grade students at the close of each year. 
These awards represent the outstanding achievement on the part of these students. In dedicating these awards, teachers consider the effort, attitude, improvement, and ability demonstrated throughout the year by these individuals. Members of the eighth grade faculty will now present each class award. For their outstanding work, the English award goes to Sophia Stidham. For their outstanding work, the History Award goes to Isabel Zedlitz. For their outstanding work, the Algebra Award goes to Emilia Mantia Ochoa. For their outstanding work, the Geometry Award goes to Eddie Kang. For their outstanding work in Science, the award goes to Audrey Haynes. For their outstanding work in French, the award goes to Maddie Liu. For their outstanding work, the Latin Award goes to Ethan Tubb. For the outstanding work in Spanish, the award goes to Braden Gerard. For their outstanding work, the Visual Arts Award goes to Emily Chu. For their outstanding work in band, the award goes to Caroline Garner. For his conscientious work and attitude, the choir award goes to Thomas Rudnicki. For their outstanding work in theater, the drama award goes to India Rosenberg. For their outstanding work, the orchestra award goes to Puri Gulati. For their outstanding work, the biblical literature award goes to Reed Colbert. For their outstanding work, the computer science award goes to Miranda Freeland. For their outstanding work, the Athletic Award goes to Andy Bass and Sheridan Piercy. The Cassidy Crest is our symbol. We see it in all communications. We probably see it every day. The banner beneath the shield says, Fideliter et Fortiter, faithfully and bravely. It is in this spirit that we award this year's Banner Award to two students who have faithfully and brave, bravely tackled the challenge of their eighth grade year with constant good humor, dedication, and determination. They have been kind, cheerful, and constructive members of their class. For this year, the eighth grade team gives the Banner Award to Maddox Blake and Molly Coate. Up next, Mr. Sheldon to present the George R. Cook Awards. The George R. Cook Award. To honor his memory and his many contributions to Cassidy School, the family of George Cook, class of 1979, has established the George R. Cook Memorial Award. This year, the George R. Cook Award is given to an eighth grade girl and boy who exemplify the mission of Cassidy School. Throughout their middle division years, these students excel in the classroom, on the field or court, and in the general quality of their character. In short, these two students epitomize the character of the school in mind, body, and spirit. This year's award goes to Noni Redding and Krish Vasan. Congratulations. Each year, members of the eighth grade class and the faculty choose a classmate to speak on behalf of the class. This year, our eighth grade speaker is Isabel Zedlitz. When we are young, all we want to do is grow up, to stop being too little or too childish for things. We want to be seen as mature, to be considered ready. We act older than we are, desperate to prove ourselves, to reach our next milestone and show that we're all grown up. There's a poem by Robert Frost that reminds me of this desire to leave our sheltered childhoods behind for some of the heavier aspects of young adulthood. Nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold. Her early leaf's a flower, but only so an hour. Then leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down to day, nothing gold can stay. As we grow up, our worlds lose their shine, their luster and their gold, and we, our undying sense of curiosity and wonder, we trade a world of colorful simplicities for a world of black and white complications. It becomes harder and harder to hold on to our first green. Our gold fades in little ways at first. Our parents, no longer infallible ideas, and rainbow sprinkles on ice cream are no longer a necessity. We trade playgrounds for pods, 
cubbies for lockers, crooked smiles for braces, and our math problems have X's and Y's. It's no longer cool to be friends with someone of the opposite gender unless you're dating. Magic Tree has books for To Kill a Mockingbird, and we are suddenly mature, at least in our eyes, and all grown up, just like we wanted, right? Our world fades. Bright gold becomes tarnished bronze, and we become aware of how fragile we are as humans, just how breakable. We discover our sense of mortality, and we're terrified. And finally, we're here. Our gold is gone, our world no longer shimmering hues of early dawn, our minds no longer filled with the beautiful naivete and wonder children can only possess. In shades of black and white, we learn that nothing gold can stay. As you journey into high school, hold on to your gold. Guard it, cherish it, keep it for as long as you can. We are all walking tightropes, trying to find our center, our balance, trying to figure out who we are at the very core of our being. And we have four more years together. Four more years to enjoy our gold while it lasts. Four years to embrace the coming day, to walk this crazy tightrope together. Four years, and it'll go by in a flash. So let's enjoy it. Let's hold on to it and hold on to each other. We are the only Cassidy class of 2024 there ever will be. Let's take these four years and laugh and cry and fight and cheer and scream and love and learn our way through them. Let's extend lifelines to each other of safety and grace and extend those same things to ourselves. Let's help each other find our balance, help each other cherish our gold. I am so incredibly honored that you chose me to represent our class, and I'm so excited to see what comes next for us. So here's to our parents, for your love, guidance, and support as we walk this tightrope. Here's to our teachers, for your passion and your devotion to us and to what you teach. Here's to Dr. Shear and Mrs. Zedlitz for providing strong and loving leadership through all the insanity. And finally, here's to us. Here's to the adventures we've yet to have, the people we've yet to know, and the lives we've yet to live. Here's to the amazing, flawed, perfectly imperfect humans we are and are yet to be. Here's to our gold, to our dawn, to our day. Here's to us. Thank you. Middle division graduates, whether it was robotics, makerspace, art and technology, or through your core classes coming in to work on projects or assignments, I was able to work with each of you. So to the Minecrafters, meme makers, scientists, historians, coders, science Olympians, engineers, cartographers, artists, makers, city planners, model builders, and mathematicians, I say have a happy and healthy summer, good luck in high school, and come back anytime to say hello or to make something awesome. Now for Ms. Huber. Thank you. I have so enjoyed getting to know each of you during your time in middle division, watching each of you innovate and create the beautiful, strange, whimsical, and concrete forms that reflect each of your personalities, humor, interest, and the things that make each of you uniquely you. As well, I have enjoyed watching these interests and talents evolve, and I look forward to seeing them continue to do so in upper division. While I wish we could have ended the school year in class side by side, I am thankful that we were able to spend a good portion of the year in class together and that I was able to see your sometimes smiling faces over the computer. This summer, I hope you enjoy the sunshine and do things that bring you joy. Next year, please feel free to stop by and visit anytime. And on to Reverend Bear. As eighth grade graduates of Cassidy, you have read a lot of the Bible. You made it all the way from Genesis through the story of Jesus. Well done. And while you may not always remember every story and character we read and discussed, there's something that Father Ed Humans and I hope sticks with you. I bet you can guess what it is. You are blessed to bless. We are amazed by your many unique gifts and talents, your kindness, hard work, and intelligence. You have been blessed and you are already blessing the world. Keep up the good work. We can't wait to see the many wonderful things you do. I hope you have a wonderful summer. And now on to Mr. Dina. Hi, eighth grade. What an exciting year we've had in Cassidy Theater. We started off the year with our production of Alice in Wonderland, filled with five Alices, six oysters, and a cast of 30 kooky characters. In eighth grade, we pulled off some pretty amazing stuff, including a 45-minute version of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream 
in which we got to act together on stage, <laughs> and a delightful performance of Babe the Sheep Pig that had me rolling in my seat with laughter. Bah, Ram, you. Well, we didn't get the proper send off with the pirate play we were rehearsing. I am still inspired with all the work that we accomplished. And excited about your joining Cassidy Theater next year, Legally Blonde and The Diary of Anne Frank. Thank you. Thank you for an outstanding, memorable year. I will always remember this year. Have a great summer and see you in August. Dear eighth grade orchestra, this was by no means the way we planned to end the year. However, what a great year it has been. You stepped up in a big way. You have set a solid foundation for others to build upon in the future. You're the first eighth grade orchestra to perform a joint all concert with the upper division. You're the first middle division orchestra to do a virtual performance. You led the middle division orchestra to a superior sweep and performance, sight reading, and another first outstanding achievement award. It has been a joy to watch your growth these past four years. Thank you for your dedication, hard work, and for just being you. We miss you. We look forward to the day when we can all be safely joined together. This year in band has been a tricky one, to say the least. You've switched between teachers, missed out on concerts and contests, and are now doing band online. What a journey. I want to thank you, eighth grade, for always stepping up when I have asked of you and facing challenges head on. You've supported each other in difficult times and laughed with one another in times of joy. I've enjoyed watching friendships blossom in my classroom and getting to know each of you better, some of you since fifth grade. You all have much to be proud of and I look forward to seeing what you accomplish in high school. Thank you again for sharing in this journey with me. In the performing arts, music directors tell student performers to make sure that the end of their performance is the best it can be because a strong, sure ending is what audiences remember. If the end of this year were a piece of music, it tapers off to a more subdued, hushed pianissimo. We will always remember the spring of 2020, and I will always remember you, especially those things that make each of you unique and memorable. The end of your time in middle school coincides with my retirement from teaching, but I know you will go on to high school with energy and enthusiasm, finding your passion and pursuing your dreams, and I wish you all the best. Several years ago, I made the decision to move from the upper division to the middle division, and there's not been a moment where I've regretted that until today, because I realized that if I had stayed in the upper division, I would have more time with you, more time to see you grow and mature since our year felt like it was cut short. But as many of your eighth grade speeches taught, it's not good to dwell in the past or project too much in the future. We should stay present. And at the present, I am so very grateful and so very thankful for each of you. Through your writing and your discussions, you were willing to boldly share who you are as individuals. Some of you learned to listen. Some of you found your voice. Thank you for being you, for being goofy and authentic and for making a classroom feel not like an office, but more like a home. So please remember, read what you wanna read. Write your truth, not anyone else's. And keep having those courageous conversations with each other. It'll make you better people. I know you are ready. I'm gonna miss you and I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Students, I can't believe that we've reached the end of another year. There's no doubt that this will be one that you will always remember. Your kids will ask you about this event as they are studying it in their history textbooks. And each one of you will have a unique story to tell. I hope that the content and the skills that we have learned in practice this year help you continue sharing your own story. I'm really proud of all the work you've done, and I hope you are too. Please come visit me next year since we never got a chance to say goodbye in person. I hope you have a rejuvenating and relaxing summer. And now to Mr. Huber. Welcome to history. You are the class that was finishing middle school during a global pandemic. I have been so blessed to have you as students and feel very lucky knowing I will have the opportunity to see many of you again as you move to the upper division, and I'm there with you. Even if you aren't in my classes in high school, please come see me often and say hi. 
enjoy a relaxing summer. You have certainly earned it. And now I would like to turn the mic over to Mr. Jensen. I wish you all well as you head into summer and into high school. I would like to thank you for your daily fun and witty interactions, enthusiasm for trying plus day activities, and working hard to grasp science. Since I won't teach you again, I look forward to watching you grow and excel in your varsity athletics. Remember to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God, as well as play the Friday song and celebrate life. And now to Mr. Bryant. Salute. As we close out this wild year, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for your humor and your patience. Thank you for asking questions and helping each other for putting your talents, hobbies, and passions on display. Thank you for taking this crazy global pandemic-induced remote learning situation in stride and giving teachers like me a masterclass and facing challenges head on and rolling with the punches. Before you go, I wanna ask you to take a moment and think back to August. Think even further back to fifth grade, first grade, pre-K. Take a moment and appreciate just how far you've come. It's been a joy to witness that journey and I can't wait to see how far you will all go as your stories continue to unfold. Up next, Madame Shirazi. Bonjour les filles et les garçons. It's been a pleasure teaching you all this year and for some of my Frenchies for two years straight. I've enjoyed seeing you guys grow in the language and having fun while doing so. There have been countless times in class where I found myself laughing at something that was said or drawn on the bell work on the board or the random topics we'd find ourselves on. As I'd say in class, je ferme la parenthèse, I close the digression. It has been a great year and I look forward to seeing you all continue to excel in high school. Come visit anytime. Plus, I still owe you guys a bucket game. Bonnes vacances d'été à tous. Y ahora les paso a jefe. Jefe. Buenos dias, mis muy queridos estudiantes. At the beginning of the school year, I ask you to do your best and then more. I am very happy because you all accomplished this goal. I'm very proud of all of you. Good luck in the future. I will miss you forever. Muchas gracias. Dearest employers, it's amazing. I have known some of you since the green area in primary and others I have come to know along the way. And it has been such a treat to watch you grow from busy little people into lovely, fierce, funny, quirky, curious, caring, and bold young adults. As my last world history class, I hold dear, happy memories of our time together in the sixth grade pod and in room 106. I wish you all the best as you embark upon your upper division journey. I have every confidence that you will continue to do excellent things. Be well, take care of one another, and enjoy your time this summer. We will miss you. Mohit Ali. Alexa Bailey. Alia Bakir. Mila Bersel. Andy Bass. Maddox Blake. Jackie Bud. Neely Buxton. Joseph Chen. Jackson Childress. Molly Coat. Reed Colbert. Laurel Dean. Abby Devaconda. Parker Dobbins. Cameron Dunn. Miranda. Freeland. Caroline Garner. Braden Gerard. Hudson Gool. Curry Gulati. Warner Hayhurst. Audrey Haynes. Nathan Hollander. Sydney Hewlett. Lawson Jacks. 
Lily Jordanoff. Eddie Kane. Milan Kumar. Olivia Lane. Maddie Lou. Amelia Mantia Ochoa. Carmen McQuistron. Peyton Mitchell Johnson. Krish Modi. Ethan Nadia. Connor Phelps. Sheridan Piercy. Emily Chu. Noni Redding. Megan Reeves. India Rosenberg. Thomas Rudnicki. Molly Russell. Suleiman Cha. Nishat Shivastava. Jackson Stewart. Sophia Stidham. Ethan Tubb. Chris Vassen. Ryder Walker. Thatcher Wallace. Sarah Warren. L. Woodruff. Jake Woody. Isabel Zedlitz. Ion Zubar. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, Dr. Shear, for inviting me to say a word of welcome to the rising ninth graders. Thank you also for allowing me the honor as upper division director of giving the rising ninth graders their first upper division homework assignment. And yes, I am serious. You have homework. It's due in the fall. But first, let me say that I was pleased to hear Dr. Shear quote Mark Twain in his opening remarks. You know, I look for a Mark Twain quote about remote learning and virtual ceremonies, but for some reason, I couldn't find one. And then I found this. Worrying is like paying a debt you don't owe. Mark Twain said that more than 100 years ago, long before our current situation, obviously, but it still applies. It's still good advice. So here's part one of your homework. Try not to worry about how you'll do as a freshman. I have every confidence that your middle division teachers have prepared you well for whatever happens in the fall. I also have every confidence that we will be ready for you in the fall. And here's part two of your homework. Find a quote or maybe a song lyric from at least 100 years ago that still applies to today's reality or to today's situation. This will help remind you that really good advice fits just about any situation. And things like perseverance and caring for others never become old fashioned. Here's another example of a timeless quote. This one from Shakespeare, exit messenger. See, it fits perfectly. Thank you and welcome to the upper division. Father humans. We now come to the closing benediction, which means essentially the closing good word. And I think all of you know this. And so I invite you, say it with me. You have been blessed to bless. And so may God give you the grace never to sell yourself short, the faith and the fortitude to risk something big for something good. Because the world is too dangerous for anything but truth and it's too small for anything but love. And so may God take your minds and think through them. May God take your lips and speak through them. And may God take your hearts and set them on fire. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.